So the first cool thing you can do on your new Chromecast with Google TV is to expand the storage with its own custom partition. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's say for example, you can plug in a USB drive, but let's say that's a large USB drive. So maybe a 64 gig or 128 or even larger. Now, if I click on the USB drive here, now, if I click on this option here, which means I'm going to format the USB drive and then use that as device storage. Now, as you guys know, device storage basically means that I can now install applications to that USB drive and I can even move applications to it. But let's say I don't want to format all of it as device storage. I only want to format a portion of it. And this is particularly important if you want to plug in a large USB drive. So if you do plug in a 128 gig or larger, there's really no need to have all of that allocated as device storage. So how can we actually mix that up? Well, the way we do that is if we back out of this and let's start remote ADB shell. Let's click on connect. Make sure you have got USB debugging enabled. Okay, let's click on allow and click on OK. And we are now connected to our Chromecast over ADB. So for us to now format this USB drive into two partitions, one partition for your device storage for your applications, and then a completely separate partition for your external storage. So that's the partition where you can plug into your PC or other devices and then move across movies or applications or really any content that you like. So for us to do that, the first command we're going to type in is just SM space list hyphen uh, disks. Let's type that in and press enter. And this will now scan any of the peripherals you have on your device and give you the disk ID. And we can see that my USB drive has a disk ID of 8.0. And to be honest, since I've been doing this on the 4K Fire Stick and some of the other devices, it's always been 8.0. And all we need to do now is just type in the command SM space partition, because we're going to create a partition, the disk colon, whichever disk we're going to use. Our disk is 8, comma uh, 0. So SM partition disk, then the disk ID. And because we're going to format a portion of it, we need to enter in the command mixed. And we now need to enter in as a percentage, what percent we want to have as external storage, the storage that you can use on any device. So in my case, because I've got a 64 gig drive, I'm just gonna do 50, which means 32 gigs for internal storage and 32 gigs for external storage. Let's just type in 50, press enter, Give that a second. Okay, so we see no error messages. I can now press the home key, go back into settings, go back into system, and inside storage. There we have it guys. We now have a dedicated partition of about 30 gig for internal storage, the device storage, and we have a completely separate partition which we can use for external storage. So I can plug that into my Nvidia Shield or into my PC and move applications or move files onto it and use that partition anywhere I like. So that's basically how you partition a large USB drive into device storage and also external storage. Okay, let's back out of that. Next up, you want to access the Play Store, but as we can see guys, there's no tile for the Play Store. And even if I go to all applications, there's no tile for the Play Store. So how can we get it? Well, the two easiest ways are either you can use your voice. So I can just say, open Play Store. Give that a second. And we are now inside the Play Store. That's working great. The other way is to use an application called Button Mapper, which really does open up lots of possibilities on what you can do with your device. So let's open that up. And let's say, for example, I want to customize the YouTube button on my uh, Chromecast remote control. So I can go down, I can click on add a button, click on add a button again, and I'm now going to press the YouTube button. So button 189 equates to the YouTube button. I can now click on that. I can now select customize. And I now have three distinct actions I can do with the single button. So I'll leave the single button as default. So that's how we get to YouTube. But for the long press, if I click on that, and say that the next time I do a long press of that YouTube button, this should actually launch the Play Store for us. So let's go down in the list. There's the Play Store there. I can now press the home key. So now, for example, if I press this button once, it takes us into YouTube. And there we can just see a free tech with these mystery box. And now if I hold this button down, that takes us straight into the Play Store. So that's also another method you can follow to get access to the Play Store by using a long press of a button. 
Close back out of that. So you want to use a virtual mouse on your new Chromecast. Maybe you've sideloaded some applications that only work with the virtual mouse, or maybe you just like using a virtual mouse in certain applications. How do we do that? Well, if you go to your applications and you want to install this application, the mouse toggle for Android TV, and a link for this application and all the other applications mentioned will be on my website in the tutorials page. So let's open that up. So when you start this up for the first time, you will get that warning in red because this application doesn't have the correct permissions that it needs to operate. So how do we fix that? Well, let's go to settings. Now, if you didn't know that guys, wherever you are, if you long press the home button, that's a quick shortcut to get to your settings dialog. So I can now click on that. I can now go to system, accessibility, and here we can see there will be a service for mouse toggle. There it is. I can now click on that and click on enable and then click on OK. And we've now given that permission and we can see straight away that the toggle actually starts. But if I now press the home key and when we go back to the application, we can see that error message is now gone and it also says enabled. Now the only slight caveat with this guys is, as we can see on the top left, to activate this, you do have to double press the play button. Alternatively, you can press the volume down and volume up key, but I've tried every combination. I've tried remapping things. I just can't get it working right now, <laughs> but I haven't given up. I'm still looking for a solution. But for now, the only thing we can do is map another Bluetooth controller to our Chromecast, which already has a play button. So in this example, I'm just gonna use a Fire Stick Light remote control. So actually a great remote control there. So we can see now guys, when I double press the play button, no problem, we now have a fully working virtual mouse. I can move around. I can press the home key to deactivate. Press the home key again. I can now fully take over my Chromecast using a Fire Stick remote control. So Jeff Bezos probably has smoke coming out of his ears right now, but as you can see guys, whichever application I'm in, double press the play button, and we now have a fully working virtual mouse. I can click on things. I can navigate around and that's working great. So that's how you get a working virtual mouse on your Chromecast, but it does require you to use a remote control which has a play button. So you're playing Netflix, but how can you actually confirm that you're watching in full HD or 4K or, or HDR? Well, to do that, you do have to use a certain key press. Now, in my example, I've just used a standard 2.4 gigahertz uh, mini uh, keyboard error mouse. So that key press to see the video information is the function for the F4 button. So let me now press that. So function F4. And then we can just see on the top left now, guys, this video is playing in 1080p and we can also see the current video bitrate. So that's basically the easiest way you can see if your Netflix is playing in HD or 4K or, or maybe even standard definition. Okay, let's back out of that. So you're not really a fan of this big, busy uh, homepage where you have uh, lots of sponsored content, you have sponsored applications, lots of stuff going on. Now, of course, you can enable the apps only mode, but that has limitations where it breaks the Play Store and also breaks the voice search. So what can we do? Well, the quickest thing we can do, guys, is we go over to your applications. We'll first install a custom launcher. In this video, I've installed the Wolf launcher and also make sure it opens up OK. And remember, this is a custom launcher specifically for the Chromecast. Once you've confirmed it opens up OK, let's go down and let's open up the TDUK Launcher Manager. That's now open. I can now click on Disable Stock Launcher. I can now press the Home key. And just like that, guys, no more sponsored content, no more big adverts. I can now organize my applications. I can create folders. I can change the background. I can enable widgets and have complete control of my Chromecast. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for tips and tricks for the new Chromecast. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, or if you guys know any other cool tips and tricks for this device, then please do leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.